Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, I posted a video that Microsoft had re-released their security update for Windows 10 and Windows 11, which is KB5012170, which was a security update and is a security update that fixes a secure boot DBX vulnerability and was originally released in August of this year, 2022. Now, the update, when it did originally roll out um, in August, was um, more known for the issues it caused than the issues it was trying to resolve, although it was an important security update. And just to do a quick recap, um, in no particular order, some of the issues it was causing were uh, boot problems. It was failing to install with the error code 0x800F0922. And then I think the problem, the issue that was causing the most problems was the BitLocker recovery startup issues, um, which was affecting most users. So as mentioned, was more known for the issues it caused than the issues it was trying to resolve. Now, I'll leave a link in the description to a video I did post on the update just a couple of days ago, as that will just give you a little bit more info. But just a quick video today, um, just to let you know that if we click on learn more and head over to the the official release notes for KB5012170, that Microsoft has recently updated the release notes. Now, at first, yeah, we can see that Microsoft has now removed August of this year when the update originally rolled out. So the update is now a current update. And it also applies to um, the different following Windows versions. And that list has also been updated, where previously we didn't have Windows 10 version 22H2 and Windows 11 version 22H2. So now officially Microsoft has acknowledged that the update um, is available now for 22H2 of Windows 10 and Windows 11, because originally when the update did roll out, as I did post on, those versions of Windows were not released yet to the general public. So obviously Microsoft now has updated their release notes to clear up a little bit of confusion. Now, um, just to do another quick summary, um, in case you're unaware, um, the update uh, um, addresses a security feature bypass vulnerability that exists in Secure Boot, as mentioned, and the update is a security update addressing the vulnerability by adding the signatures of the known vulnerable UEFI modules to the DBX. So that's just a quick summary of what the update is and is all about. Now, if you are at any stage still experiencing any problems with um, maybe not being able to boot up or BitLocker or error code uh, messages like the issues I did mention earlier, then Microsoft still recommends updating the UEFI BIOS um, so if you are experiencing that issue, then nothing's changed for the update, which Microsoft is recommending you can try out for issues. So um, no real fix has actually rolled out at this stage. But I'm not aware at this stage that too many issues are existing with the re-release of the update to Windows 11 22H2 and Windows 10 22H2. And I still haven't received, um, on a personal note, I still haven't received the update on my Windows 10 22H2 device, although Microsoft has officially said that they are rolling out the update to that operating system. So if you're not seeing the update, then um, maybe Microsoft is still rolling that out on a controlled rollout. But nonetheless, just wanted to keep you posted and in the loop, so to speak, that Microsoft now has officially acknowledged that they are rolling out um, KB5012170 um, officially now for Windows 10 and Windows 11 versions 22H2. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.